right, I got myself a new toy direct from the Ukraine. And we all know how difficult it is to get stuff in and out of there right now. So I ordered this thing about three weeks ago and it just arrived today. So I'm very, very excited about it. And if you can't guess, it's an, it's an EverDrive. But um, yeah, I've been wanting one of these for a really, really long time. And I've looked around online to try to find them and they were just not available. And uh, I happened to be going on to Crix's website and I saw, hey, they're back in stock. So I went ahead and jumped on the chance to get one. All right, so this is take two of the video. The first time I did it, um, the audio was all messed up. So hopefully, hopefully it's a little bit better this time. But anyway, this is the EverDrive box. And uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. And there's the Turbo EverDrive right there. Uh, it did come in this plastic right here, but um, I couldn't get it back on <laughs> in there just right. So um, this is not how it actually appears in the box. It actually comes inside this plastic to protect it. So, But I don't need this now, nor do I need the box. Also, there's nothing else in the box. I thought maybe there'd be a, some kind of manual or something, but no, that's all it is. All right, so here is the Turbo EverDrive. As you can see, it's really nice. It's uh, professionally made, has this nice little uh, cover over here uh, to protect the circuitry and all that good stuff in there. Mm, can we see in there? Not really. Here's your SD card slot. Here is your switch on the side for um, PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16. And then here's how it compares to the other Turbo Chip games. Now I've only got three <laughs> original Turbo Graphics games: uh, TV Sports Hockey, TV Sports Football, and of course the game that came with it, Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. But now with the Turbo EverDrive, I can play all these exciting games. Plus another, uh, I don't know, how many games did come out for the Turbo? Like 400, 500, something like that? Of course, that's combined with the Japanese PC Engine games. The, in actuality, I think the Turbo Graphics itself came out with like less than 100 games, I guess? And of course, that's just counting the, uh, the Turbo Chip games, not the CD games, which you cannot play CD games on the uh, Turbo EverDrive like this. You have to get uh, one of those expensive uh, Terra Onion gadgets that go on the back, which... You know, I'm perfectly fine with just playing the Turbo Chip games, and uh, I'm just I'm just happy to have it. Happy to have it. Now, I already spent some time in advance going ahead and getting my uh, memory card set up and ready to go. Uh, you have to go onto Crix's website and get the BIOS files, and you download them, and you basically just copy them to the uh, the memory card itself, and then you can go ahead and copy your ROMs to it. Now there's also another um, BIOS that's out there. I forget what it's called exactly, but you can you know, put that on your uh, Turbo EverDrive as well. But I'm just gonna go with the Crix's official one for now. So I'll go ahead and uh, put this in here. Makes that little, uh-oh. There we go, it makes that little clicking noise when you push it in. And then the other thing we're gonna want to do is to make sure that we change this from PC Engine over to the TurboGrafx-16 mode. I need like a screwdriver or something to get in there to, uh, to flip that switch. And hopefully this screwdriver can do it. Uh, let's see, just gotta get in there really carefully and boom, flip the switch. And there we go, now we're on the TurboGrafx-16 mode. All right, and that's really all there is to this thing. It's it's pretty simple, pretty basic, and uh, it's going to allow me to play a ton of Turbo Graphics 16 and PC Engine games. So I'm pretty excited. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. All right, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. And it works. All right, well, here we are inside the Turbo EverDrive's menu. As you can see, I have all of my games in here five pages worth of games. I also have a couple folders here with just the Japanese games in here. We'll check out a few of those later. When I hit the select button, it comes up with this page of information here. And if I hit the select button again, it would allow me to swap the one and the two buttons. Honestly, I'm not sure why I would want to do that, but it's there. All right, so what should be the first game that we play on here? Um, I mean, it's gotta be Bonk, right? I mean, Bonk's the game. He's the guy. All right, here we are inside of Bonk's adventure. Naturally, the mascot for TurboGrafx-16. And it works pretty good. No problems. Wonder what Bonk sounds like anyway. Does he, does he have a voice? Hi, I'm Bonk. 
and I like jumping in the air and bashing my head. Oh, getting whacked on things. Or is it more like me bonk? Me like to smash head on lizard guys. Or maybe it's like me bonk. I like eating meat and getting angry. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Alright, let's try Alien Crush. Super cool alien themed pinball game. The only downside of the game is that it doesn't uh, scroll the screen, that it you know jumps between the two screens. Alright, now let's do Bloody Wolf. Grrr, that'll be my name. Kablam, take that. Give me that motorcycle, give me the motorcycle. Oh, I lost it. And here's Devil's Crush, probably the best video pinball game ever made. See how this game scrolls the screen versus um, switching, like on Alien Crush. Stop laughing at me, you ugly skull. Okay, here's Galaga 90, which is probably my favorite uh, TurboGrafx-16 game ever. You now here in Florida we have a lot of mosquitoes, so I feel like this game is kind of getting my revenge on them. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to shoot that guy. Alright, I got a second chance at a triple ship. Here we go. Ah, that was easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta turn on the turbo button. I forgot about that. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, I'll still not annihilate you. There we go. That was too easy. Again, it... It kind of begs the question, is using the turbo buttons on a game that wasn't intended to have turbo, is that cheating? Let me know down in the comments. And here's The Legendary Axe, a game that I feel should have been the pack-in for the TurboGrafx-16. Just look how beautiful these graphics are. Mm, mm. Oh, oh yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, take that. Oh no, I fell, I didn't want to go down there. Back here, spider. I'm gonna climb up your strand and get out of here. I'm stuck down here in this pit. Oh, and I'm dead. And here's Ninja Spirit, one of the best games for the TurboGrafx-16. Now this game has some, what looks to be some really cool parallax scrolling in the background, but uh, in actuality those are animated tiles. And you can tell because there's little black uh, frames around the other graphics in front of it there. If you look closely, you can see little black squares around it. It's such a fun game. I like that I don't have to hit these guys like ten times before they die. And it wouldn't be a TurboGrafx-16 video without R-Type. I remember playing this one uh, after work. Uh, at a, uh, I think it was like a Circle K or 7-Eleven or something like that. My friend and I would go and play, and we could get pretty far. Maybe to stage four or five before um, we would die. And of course, once you die, you're, you're pretty much, that's it. Because you lose all your weapons and everything, and you start with nothing, which at that point you might as well just give it up. Ooh, that was close. You want to turn the turbo off on this game because if you keep hitting the button, you'll um, charge up your power. And if you turn on the turbo, all it does is just keep firing continuously. So we want to turn it off so we can use the charge. Time for a little splatter house. Another one of those defining games for the Turbo Graphics 16. I love how they splat up against the wall. Of course, this game needs a hack to change his mask back to white again, so that it matches better with the arcade. They changed it because they thought it, the character looked a little bit too much like Jason Voorhees, which, let's be honest, it does look exactly like Jason. Oh, 
and if anything, the Turbo Graphics is known for shooting games, and here's a good one, Aero Blaster. I don't hear about this one as much as like Blazing Lasers or Superstar Soldier, so I thought I'd give this one a try. I really love those uh, parallax graphics in the background. Not really parallax, but uh, it's just sections of the screen that are scrolling at different speeds to kind of give that illusion of parallax. I don't have any kind of super bomb or anything now. I like the way the bonuses pop out of there and fall to the ground. That's pretty cool. Alright, so you know about most of the TurboGrafx-16 games, but let's see if we can find anything in the PC Engine world that's interesting. Afterburner 2? I didn't know they had Afterburner for the Turbo. Oh no, it's not quite as smooth as the Genesis version. Ooh, there we go. Pretty good though. I mean, if all you had was an NES and you had Afterburner, or a TurboGrafx-16 and you had Afterburner, I mean, which one would you play? You'd definitely play this one. How about uh, Barunba? I have no idea what this game is. Oh, this looks like, like some kind of a shooter game. It is a cute em up. Looks pretty good though. How about uh, Champion Rustler? <laughs> I love these names. Mr. Rastan, Mr. Decker, Mr. or G Samurai, Cobra B Joe, <laughs> Cobra Joe. Are you kidding me? Grab him. Throw him. Oh no! Don't throw me. You can't stop me. I'm I'm GI Joe. I'm Cobra Joe. Oh, ow! That hurt. Oh. No, no suplex. Oh. Oh! Oh! I feel like I should be doing better than I am. <laughs> oh, how about a little Die Hard? I'm sure this game is exactly like the movie. I'm not really that familiar with the movie, but uh, could somebody tell me if uh, Die Hard starts out in a in a park with John McClane shooting uh, what look like Russian guys? I'm just trying to find Carl Winslow. Is he around here somewhere? Hello? Is he, are you Carl Winslow? No? Okay. How about you? No? Maybe the idea is that I'm on the way to the store to get Carl Winslow some... What was he eating in the movie? Twinkies or snowballs or something? That's my mission right now is to get him some Twinkies. Oh, there's just a couple guys hanging out in here. Oh! <laughs> they killed me! Oh, man. And then the whole world blows up, as you can see in the background there. Okay, here's a game called Image Fight. I want to say this was a Nintendo game, too. Yep, a top-down shooter. I feel like I need two categories of Japanese games. Ones that, you know, I could play and not know Japanese, and then another group of games where you're pretty much screwed if you're not fluent in Japanese. So maybe I'll break those two folders up. Oh, here's Knight Rider for the TurboGrafx-16. I just did a video on Knight Rider for the NES that did surprisingly well. The question is, will this game be any better than that? Go, 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 Kit, go! Can I shoot? The NES game you can shoot. I'm going 200 kilometers an hour and I'm doing turbo boosts in the air. Keep going, don't slow down. Come on, Kit. How is this guy doing 200 kilometers an hour right next to me? That's crazy. He's driving a Honda. Two, almost 300. How is this car staying ahead of me? That's not That's not even cool. And of course we've got a lot of Mahjong games here which I'm sure I'll be spending a lot of time enjoying here in the coming days. It's just called Maniac. Uh oh. Oh no. It's a lot of Japanese text. <laughs> Man, I'm screwed. Just start the game. Here we go. Yeah. Just start. Oh, this is like a boxing game or fighting game? Oh, what? What's going on here? I'm supposed to... Can I punch? Can I kick? I'm just supposed to stare at this guy. It's a, it's a turn-based boxing game, maybe? I, I don't get it. <laughs> this is 
is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Okay, here's one called Metal Stoker by Face. Oh, okay, yeah. This is cool. This is kind of like, um, Vindicators or... There was a Namco arcade game called Assault that I really liked. You're basically a tank and you're just going around shooting other tanks and trying not to get killed like that. Oh yeah, see now if I'm way on the other side of the screen, I have more chance to get away. This is a pretty neat game. Metal Stoker. I would have thought Metal Tank would have been a better, better name for this game. Here's Operation Wolf. One of my favorite shooter games from the arcades. Yeah, take this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you want some of this? Yeah. Oh, right in the face. Oh yeah, you tripped there, buddy. Try not to hit the nurses. Ugh. Yeah, I love this game. <laughs> they even have Outrun for the PC Engine? Oh, that seems pretty smooth. I mean, it's not as, as, as uh, choppy as the Sega Master System version, but not as smooth as the, uh, the Genesis version. It says I'm doing 190, but it feels like I'm doing like 20. I mean, there's no sprite scaling, so it makes the, the zooming in of objects look kind of chunky. But yeah, it's not a bad version of um, OutRun. Although I find it hilarious that as I turn left and right, the little logo on the back changes directions too. What? Shinobi? Man, there's a lot of good Sega games on here. This looks way better than the Master System version. Ah, oh, I thought he got me there. Ah, and here's a game called Rock On. It appears to be some kind of a shooter game. Turn on my turbo buttons. Oh, the turbo buttons don't work. It's like a little cute 'em up shooter game. And here's a Street Fighter 2 for the Turbo Graphics. Well, I mean, it's the PC Engine, but I'm playing it on the Turbo Graphics. It's going to be kind of challenging to play with only two buttons, though. What I end up having to do is hit the select to toggle between the kicks and the punches, which, honestly, it would have been better if they had just done one button for punching and one for kicking. Oh, I could do a... Sure you can. Oh. Come on, jump over here. Oh. Right, let me toggle back to punt kicks now. Oh, got him. And here's one called Tatsujin, which you may know as Truxton. Mark Bustler's favorite game. dead already. But hey, it's on here. It's pretty cool. Okay, this one's called Wonder Momo. Is it like Wonder Boy, maybe? Or Wonder Girl? <laughs> She's got some high kicks there. Oh! Oh! She's like defending her house from aliens and, and burglars or something? And now she's turned into some kind of superhero. Okay, that's neat. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> now she's... This is like Wonder Woman. She's turning back into a regular character again. Come on, turn into Supergirl again. There we go. Honestly, I don't know why she would even want to be Supergirl, because she's not even any better. It's like, not just like she has super kicks or anything like that. Oh, 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 what's going on? What's going on here? What the world? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a giant yellow robot now. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, well that's called uh, Wonder Momo. <laughs> it's a very strange game. Alright, here's one called 
toy shop boys. Okay, it's an overhead shooter game. Looks pretty cool. This one is called Violent Soldier. Not violet, like, you know, like the color purple, but violent. Another shooter game. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have to keep put mashing the buttons. Yeah, that's a cool game. And here's Xevious. I remember playing this on my Atari 7800 a lot. But this one looks a little bit more like the arcade than that one does. I really love the fact that this system has so many uh, classic arcade games on here. Of course, this is like the arranged version of Xevious. It's not quite like the arcade. There is an arcade version that uh, I skipped back there. Alright, and let's finish this video off with a little game called Magical Chase, which is extremely rare, hard to find, and expensive, but I can play it for the first time on my Turbo EverDrive. I love the whimsy of this game with, you know, shooting chicken guys. <laughs> There's so much craziness in this game. Now we got orange guys riding surfboards. Orange blobs floating in the sky. Beautiful graphics in the background. I mean, this is a fun game. Oh, that's a shop. I'm gonna go in the shop. Can I help you find anything in particular? Yeah, can I get the three-way? Yeah, thanks. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess we're up to the boss. Get him? Did I get him? Oh, I got him! And I got a giant uh, gem as a reward. Yay! Alright, well that is the Turbo EverDrive. If you have a TurboGrafx-16 and you don't have a Turbo EverDrive, you're, you're nuts. Because trying to collect the games, it's very, very difficult. They're very, very expensive, hard to find. But with the Turbo EverDrive, you can you can play every game that you ever wanted, and uh, it only goes for about you know 100 bucks maybe, including shipping. And uh, they are back in stock at Crix's website, so if you want to get one now, would be a good time to get one. So just a quick message to Crix: thank you for sending me the Turbo EverDrive. Thank you for making these. I mean, we love them all; they're fantastic. And uh, stay safe over there. And to everyone else, thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.